It is. So you just pull up mm -hmm. and grab your purse, walk in your home, your bed's made, your wine's chilled, your bathroom <laughs> set up. You know, you plug in your hoses and turn some water on, take a shower, and you're like good to go. Nice. <laughs> Welcome to room six. As you see, back in the kitchen for an actual in-person interview. This is a very special interview for me also because my 100th subscriber is here to celebrate <laughs> 200 subscribers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you to at I am rockin' Ramona. You were my number 200 follower. Uh, shout out to everybody on TikTok that just picked up the ball and ran with it and made this happen. So thank, thank you. Thank you for following. My wife and kid tried to celebrate for me and uh, get me a balloon. <laughs> and that, so I went and got something <laughs> completely different. There you go. We don't have any party poppers this time. No, I, I <laughs> I'm still cleaning it out for two weeks. One, two, three. If it can open. But yes, uh, celebrating 200 subscribers and over 2,000 uh, followers on TikTok. Thank you, everyone. I just want to say shout out, like I said, to I Am Rockin' Ramona. Shout out to everybody else. And shout out to Pamela Jean. Hey, everyone. She's back. Woo. Pamela, one, year, one year later. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> so um, I did my shout outs. Do you have any shout outs you want to throw out real quick? Ooh. Um... Yes, I want to shout out to my friend Bobby and Celine who funded my gas. Celine Dion? Money? No. <laughs> the other Celine. Funded some gas money for me to get down here. Um, so I just want to tell you guys thank you from the bottom of my heart. Priest River Ministries Advocates for Women. You know what you do. Um, you're amazing. And I shout out to you guys. And um, shout out to my dog Bella, obviously, for being my road dog head of security to get us 1,250 miles down to Las Vegas. Head of security. I like yeah. that. <laughs> Just one dog this time, right? Just one dog. We're four legs less. <laughs> That's the name of the She's, tour. <laughs> she, or he's with his daddy and Bella's with me and we're, you know. I see. Bella and I are on a new journey. A new journey. A new journey. Uh, what else is new? Um, well, I've been living in my RV since October. Tiny home. Tiny home. 23 foot travel trailer in the winter and I've done winter RV life with no running water since October. Now that, is that a separate YouTube channel or that's on your existing? That's on my regular YouTube channel. I've actually incorporated my music with my photography because I do photography and I put slideshows together um, for when I'm touring and then I put it to some music and then I've incorporated the RV life because people on how to RV for newbies like to watch Everybody else's mistakes right. and silliness, so I'm like, I just incorporated it in there. Link is in description. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they, I honestly, I know another, at least two other bands or, or musical acts that that's how they go on tour. With the RV? Yeah. It's great. Which, it sounds it's amazing. It's so amazing, because your house is right there. Right, it sounds cheaper like, too. <laughs> it, it is. So you just pull up mm -hmm. and grab your purse, walk in your home, your bed's made, your wine's chilled, your bathroom's <laughs> set up, you know, you plug in your hoses and turn some water on, take a shower, and you're, like, good to go. Nice. <laughs> um, we were, my wife and I, before we had a kid, we were talking about doing that, and yeah. even when we had the kid, we were like, wouldn't, wouldn't that be awesome? And we can write, like, a, a, a series of books about this family yeah. that, that goes on these trips, and it... it Never happened, but uh, I, I I'm I'm jealous a little bit. I'll admit. It's pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> so, before we get into question time, uh, I was wondering a new merch. New merch. Well, I'm not sure what I showed the last time. I already know he you showed does. The, you showed the t-shirt, which my daughter stole, and <laughs> I have a couple of uh, of a different koozies which are hiding somewhere, and uh, a couple of your uh, Whiskey Wasted cups. Well, since he does Whiskey Wasted, well, he does Whiskey Reviews on his channel, I have a song called Whiskey Wasted, so we have the Whiskey Wasted koozies. Um, I have different, I can do them in glitter, too. I'm big into glitter, obviously. I'm a rock star, and I'm a girl, so <laughs> glitter is huge for me. Um, but this is our little Whiskey Wasted bags. You can use them for makeup bags or, like, a flask or whatever. And then um, I do have hats. So Slip Away is another title to one of my original songs. All of my merch is original song titles or tour titles. 
Um, this one is a song I wrote about drinking wine in the bathtub after a long, hard day of work. And then, of course, our whiskey wasted, the drink cups. And I do have t-shirts and tank tops and hoodies that are all custom made with my logos on them. So I do have a full clothing line and hats and everything too. Right on. Yeah. Sounds like you need a whiskey sponsor. I need a whiskey. I do need a whiskey corporate sponsor. So do I. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsors. Uh, I think you left a hat. I don't know if it's that same style, but I think you left a hat for my daughter as well. I think last so. Last time. Yeah. Uh, it's hard. She's 13 now. She's oh, wow. literally your height. Yeah. They, they grow fast. Yes. My, my stepdaughter, that's who I do would like to give a shout out to. My stepdaughter in Northern California, she's 13 also. North so, Kyle. Addie, I love you. I miss you. You know that. Aw. Um, you ready for some questions? I'm ready. Question time. This is where we get, it gets nervous. Yes. We're like, I don't know what he's asking me. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to ask you the same. Are you old... sober? Possibly. I hope he drove, he drove here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm not going to ask you the same old chestnuts as, as last time. This is obviously things have been a little different over the last year. So now that you're back on tour, how has the show turnout been with, with COVID? It's been weird. I mean, when I saw you last, mm -hmm. when I was here last time, it was right before COVID hit. Right, and I, remember. I had this amazing tour lined up through Vegas, through Arizona, and I was like on top of the world. It was an amazing time. You and a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> and it was like, all right, this is great. And then uh, right at the end of my tour is when COVID hit. So those last three gigs, I didn't even know if we were going to have a show. So I called the bars. I said, are you still having music? They said, yes. Are you still coming? I said, yes, because I needed the gas money to get back to Idaho. Right. So I went and I did the last three shows. It was still a great turnout. And I, nobody knew how serious things were about to get. It was just like nobody had a clue right. what was about to happen. And I got back to North Idaho and my job was gone. All my gigs had canceled. And I didn't end up having a gig for about six months. And now I've been averaging maybe one or two shows a month. Mm -hmm. But those are still subject to cancel due to COVID because I've had shows that have been booked and then like the bar owner caught COVID or a bartender came in contact with somebody who had COVID. So then they call you two days prior and say, we have to shut the bar down. Your gig is canceled. So it, there's been nothing. If 2020 and the pandemic has taught me anything, you can only live day to day and moment to moment and you have to cherish everything as it comes and you can plan, but the plan yeah. isn't, you know, it's not in our hands. And, and save your money when you can. Yes, and save your <laughs> money, yes. <laughs> wow. Um, so aside from, speaking of the band. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, I do have a band now. I didn't have a band, Yeah, did I? Uh, it's, uh, what was the name? Pamela Jean and the Night Train. The Night Train. Yes, oh, and I do want to give a shout train. out to my guys in my band because they work so hard learning all my original music. We're all, all original band. Mm. Uh, we were going to do cover stuff, which was super fun because I loved covering classic rock and 80s rock. But they said that they loved my music so much, they just wanted to do my original music and keep it as an original band. Wow. So um, these guys have been just busting their ass over the last year while we were all unemployed, sitting around trying not to day drink every day. I love scotch. All right. And uh, yeah, they've been amazing. Like, they're just three amazing guys in my life. So Tony, Sam, Brian. No, Thank they're not. Guys on this tour at all with you no, right now? No, no. Not meeting them anywhere? Or... No, this is just a solo tour and it was a mental health break that I needed to, to just right. come down and play some music and be in the sun. And yeah, mental health is important. It's very important. Uh, aside from that, you mentioned that you, you know, you lost, your job was gone when you went back. Yeah. Okay. What other differences have, did COVID kind of change for you in terms of uh booking gigs like like do you have to say like uh i don't know tell them I, i'm tested negative or, or no but when i advertise the shows you know depending like i don't know how your rules are down here in vegas at the moment but in idaho we, you know we were at 50 percent capacity for a while and then you know so it's like some of the venues were like well we can only have people that sit at tables and they have to stay seated the whole time. There's no dancing allowed. You have to wear your mask, you know, so you have to advertise these shows as, you know, you can come watch me play, but this isn't like normal work. I mean, people, right. like, even as a solo artist, when people get buzzed, they like to dance. So, mm -hmm. you know, how do you tell like an older couple to sit back down in their chairs in the middle of a song, but you have to stop playing music and say, 
guys aren't allowed to dance and then they have all the little rules on the tables at all the venues and you know, it's yeah. it, it, i'm honestly every show i've been able to play so far since you know this winter has been like a blessing it's like right. i didn't cancel there's people here they're obeying the rules you know they're they're enjoying the music and people are so happy to be back out even if it's just that little bit you know the people have been like right a, very appreciative yeah, I rem I've gone to a few things where it was like every other table was empty or, or like yeah. you can't sit here. It makes it feel very weird. Um, it's very I, weird. I've even seen on like uh, some TV shows where it's supposed to be in front of a live studio audience. Yeah. And they'll show the audience and it's literally like eight people. And yeah. They're, uh -huh. they're, they're 10 feet apart. They yep. all wear a mask yeah. and they're all... Yeah. And you're just like, oh, that, that's worse. Well, that's, <laughs> that's how we worse. do at my work where I bartend and serve at. Mm -hmm. it, we have everything's every other booth. And, right. you know, and we've had to put dividers up in between stuff. And, you know, it's it's a whole new world. It's, it, yeah. it really, like, really is. How uh, That actually leads perfectly to my next question, which is how how is waitressing during COVID? And do you want to give them a shout out? Um, I technically am not allowed to say their name cool. under contract, but let's just say if you ever get to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, just Google seafood restaurants near me and that's where I work and they are fantastic and shout out to all my coworkers, my bosses, the kitchen crew. I, they're like family to me. Nice. I love my staff. Yeah. And they're, but, they're okay with this? No, that's not allowed at work. I had a feeling. The, the pink hair, the, yeah, no, none of that's allowed at work. Okay. But um, no, Pamela, wait, unchained. <laughs> waiting tables during the pandemic, I'm not going to lie. It is different. So don't judge because it's different in every part of the country. I mm -hmm. live in North Idaho. It is extremely different there. Um, we were supposed to be, we were at 50% capacity, but we were still seating 200 to 250 people a night. Um, I was working five shifts a week, which I normally only work two shifts a week. And then I had gigs. Well, I had no gigs. Right. So I was waiting tables and bartending five nights a week. And we were only open for dinner, no lunches. You know, you can't catch COVID, I guess, at night, but it's yeah. higher risk for lunches. I don't know. But um, we were so busy. It was the most blessed summer I've ever had in a serving job because California, Oregon, Washington were all still closed down. So even though nobody's supposed to be mingling and traveling, everyone's traveling anyway. Right. So thanks to everybody who came from out of state to put <laughs> some money in my pocket. Um, I mean, it was, it was crazy because everyone was from all over. Yep. You know, they just threw their masks on, came out for dinner. And, you know, at, at first when we reopened, we were closed for two and a half months. Hmm. So not near as long as that's, most of the rest of yeah, the country. So when we reopened, I mean, people were just coming over and people were getting like cranky with us because we have all these extra steps of service. Like not only can you not hear me now because I have a mask on my freaking face, right. but um, we have to sanitize the pens. We have to sanitize the check presenters, the salt and peppers, like the salt and peppers used to be on the table. They're not on the table anymore. Yep. Everything gets freshly sanitized, then brought to your table. We weren't allowed to refill waters at tables because you, if this touched the cup. Mm -hmm. So people would get pissed like yep. why is things taking so long and it's like because i'm in the back sanitizing this check yeah. presenter so i can bring you something clean with we my don't gloves, want you to die with my gloves on you know <laughs> yeah. and if you know so it was the whole serving industry everything just was it was like it, yeah. it's been a crazy crazy year even like fast food i i the, where i noticed a difference was went through a drive through uh and i'd never seen this before ever and, uh, but but it's becoming more and more the norm, norm. My order was handed to me in a plastic tub. Yeah. I reached With in and grabbed my order. On. Yeah. Yeah. And then they pulled it back in, and I just was like, "All right, cool. Yeah. That's where we're at. Uh, how long is your tour going? Um, it, well, it was supposed to only be a little month break, and then I bartered with my RV park nice. to play music there in May for a couple shows as a free month of rent. Well done. So I'm. Busking. I'm using my guitar to get free stuff around the country, but um, so I'm here for two months. I'm here through the end of May, which is great because I've got a lot of things I want to do while I'm here. And I've been out to several bars and venues that are doing music and they're slowly reopening Vegas right now. So it's a good time to get my foot in the door. Mm -hmm. So it sounds very promising that I will have some actual paid gigs because I had nothing on the actual books when I got here. Um, but I do have one paid gig coming up at my RV park this month. So things are coming into place and now I'm laying the groundwork for next winter 
while I'm here so I can come spend the whole winter here. <laughs> That's ambitious, but it's also really cool. Yeah. Um, and it just goes to show any new musicians out there that are like, how can I do this? I, I, I can't afford to, to like take off work or whatever. There's, there's ways. There's, there's ways. There's ways. There's a lot of ways. <laughs> yeah. Um, any new gear? No new gear. Same guitar? All, all same, all same everything, yeah. You just show up, plug in your guitar. I've and... got some new guitar strings in my bag and a new guitar cord and mm. a new um, guitar stand. But other than that... Um... Are you, now, oh, that's that's the question oh, I Oh, mic stand, you. that's what I... Yeah. Are you, you're, are you using your own microphone? Yes, oh, always. Yeah, because so, I was going to say, especially now, no, I wouldn't so want to use a house mic. <laughs> Ten years ago when I hosted open mics, I shared my microphone with everybody. Same. It... it you know, and, and then I was sitting there one night and I'm like sipping on my wine and I'm watching person after person after person. And I'm like, there's like 20 people's mouths that just touched your microphone. And after that realization, I was so grossed out. I was like, you know what? I have, you can borrow this one. This one's mine. Yep. Yeah. This is my baby. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, ben, there, <laughs> I remember, <laughs> went, to see, uh, went to see a friend performing with his band. And uh, I was with another musician friend, and they invited her up to, to get up on stage. She's very talented. Yeah. And she got up and on the mic said, oh, there's food in here. Oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's so gross. Oh, so gross. <laughs> oh, yes. And um, it was, it was you know, some blues dive. That, yeah. Like, it was just whatever. Yeah. Uh, does the does your bed still smell like dog pee? Oh, no, it does not. <laughs> yes, the uh, the Four More Legs tour I was on when we adopted this other dog, I didn't think he was going to do anything in my trailer. and uh, He didn't like being alone. No, he wasn't even alone. He oh, was no, he wasn't. He was That's with right. Bella. Yeah. But when I, the last interview, you'll have to watch, at least go tune into the end to watch how the end of my last video ended up with him. Yeah. Um, we went out to my RV with the oh. camera, and he's like, oh, we're going to do some B-roll, meet the dogs. I come in the... Caesar had went up and peed all over my pillows, all over my bedspread. Got on camera. <laughs> and I had a gig out at Lake Mead that night, and I was like, I don't have time for laundry. Oh, right. I was livid, livid. Um, <laughs> so, so do you still have the dog? <laughs> no, he's with his daddy. No, I meant so, do you still oh. have, like, it's still, you didn't just be like, you're gone, bye-bye. Oh, no, 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 no. He still got to ride home, and he peed a few more times, and that's what it was, uh. you know. Plastic floor mats. <laughs> so, um, where to next after Vegas? Or is there like another place? The, the plan. Well, I'm going. I have some shows coming up in Idaho in July. So uh, my band and I have this big gig on July 10th at State Line. Hmm. Um, it's like a music festival. Um, I can't remember all the details. A music festival is happening. It's not like a big festival. It's not like a festival festival. Right. But it's at a venue with several bands and a cover charge, and there will be people. Okay. Um, cover charge, really? I know. It's okay. That might mean we get paid. <laughs> but, but but come on, venues. I know. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, so the plan is to go back to Idaho. I'm in no rush at the present moment. I'm sent on a new journey and um, this new path. There's a new path. Yeah. And I, I was told not to worry about anything and that everything was going to just fall into place. And so wherever it takes me, right. that's where we're going. I have my home on wheels. We can do anything and go anywhere. That's true. It and, isn't like you gotta worry about rent. So Right. And I'd like to, sp I've got several sets of friends in Utah that I'd like to spend some time with on the way back. So I'm not going to be in a rush getting back. I want to go maybe see some national parks and some new things I haven't seen enjoy yet. It, do some yeah. hiking in Utah and yeah, just enjoy the journey home. So the waitressing, bartending thing, is that's waiting for you when you get back? It's on pause. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure that you have somewhere if you need yes, to. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's good. Uh, they, they let me, that's another thing about my work. That's mm -hmm. how great they are. Like every time I take off on tour, they just let me go. And then there's times I've quit and then they've hired me back. And now they just are like, do you want us just to put you on like a temporary hold? And then you give us a return date. And a I was like, yeah, I'm just like, all right, well, I'm going off to the desert to play some music. See you guys when I see you. <laughs> My own personal burning man. It's great. All right. Well, um, cool. Feel like doing a couple songs? Of course. We are going to adjourn and you'll see her next up in room six. In the meantime... Thanks for watching, and uh, thank you Cheers. for coming. Yeah.
Yeah, thank you for having me again. All right. Hey everyone, it's Pamela Jean. This is my original Gemini's.
just